back to Galactic Rats YouTube channel. Um, as I was putting the video together, I've been filming it for over a week now and I completely forgot to do an introduction for it. Today's video is going to be on introductions and it's going to be following the introduction journey between two 10-week-old baby bucks who were bred here and four adult males. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoy the journey. I've got some different sizes of containers, so I've just separated. So in here I've got my um, boys and in here I've obviously got the babies. So just to give you a side-by-side -side comparison in size, so these babies are 10 weeks old, which is about the age that I like to introduce rat kittens. So um, at eight weeks old when you would normally pick them up from your breeder they sometimes are absolutely fine to introduce but they can sometimes just be a little light and just having a couple of extra weeks can really I find make the difference and make them a bit more of a be able to defend themselves should they needed to. And just to give you a comparison of size um, against these adult books so there you go. So they are about half the size at very least. So these boys are desperate to come out. They're like, no, I don't want to be in this carrier. And um, so what I'm going to do is just pop these guys straight in. And we're going to put them in the smallest enclosure first. So I'm going to put them in here. Um, I probably won't leave them in here for very long. This just gives me my first idea of how things are going. Um, and let them all meet each other in that enclosed environment. So this is just how I do it. This is not how everybody does it. And there's lots of different methods. And not to say others, some are right and some are wrong. Um, there's lots of different right ways of doing things sometimes. And so um, this is just how I do it. And I think it's how it's most commonly done in the UK. Um, it has had criticism in other areas of the world um, that it's making the animals go through some stress because it's obviously putting them in a small environment. Um, the argument really is that short-term stress equals long-term benefit and also the fact that you get your intros are usually over and done with much quicker. Um, so what I normally find is that they'll all do what they're doing now which is just sort of sniffing and greeting each other. Um, and the babies are doing exactly what I would expect them to. They're going around, they're not being defensive or showing any fear of the adults at all. Um, and the adults aren't really bothered, they're just having a sniff. They're saying, oh, hello, who are you? Um, I also find related rats often do get on much better. So um, these two little baby boys are related. They're the, niece, the nephews of um, the larger ivory rat who's in there. And they are actually related to um, this boy here, who was crossed back out to their granddad, basically. Um, so I do find that does help. I don't know why. There must be some science in it. Maybe the smell and the pheromones that they give off. Um, but yeah, that's just a rule of thumb, generally speaking. But they don't have to be related, um, because the other two in here are not related at all. Um, so the big cinnamon in here, he's is neutered. I'm sorry, they're just greeting each other, and um, I would say this is this is going pretty well. Um, I'll probably leave them in here for eh, half an hour, maybe an hour, and um, just monitor it, and then I'm going to move them up into this hamster size cage, which is where I probably will keep them for um, 24 hours or so, depending on how things are going. Um, there is, it's, there's no one size fits all rule when it comes to how long you should have them in each of the, each of the stages of intro. Um, because every group of rats and every intro goes completely differently. I've had some rats I've been able to pretty much put in the cage, back in their full normal cage within a couple of days, or within even 24 hours. I've even had one recently where I popped her straight in with the with my my existing group of girls straight in. I've also had some where it doesn't work, and we've had some injuries that can be some quite big bite wounds. Um, nothing ever fatal. Um, but it's not an impossibility. It's very, very rare, but it's not impossible that they can deliver fatal bites, especially if it's a large book and quite a small baby, which is why I always like to leave them till they're about this size um, and they can sort of fend for themselves. Right, so we are back. Um, so it's probably been about an hour since I last 
um, spoke to you when we put them in this tank together. There's been not even a peep from them, so that's really, really good. Um, and so now I'm quite happy that they're in here and that I'm going to move them into this next size cage. Um, if you only had smaller number of rats or you only had smaller rats in general like girls, you can leave them in here for a little bit longer. Um, but I generally like to just sort of see how they do get on in a larger cage because it's better for them to be in a slightly larger cage than squidged in here. Um, and if they were showing any kind of negative behaviour then we'd just go back. Um, but so far there's not even been a peep from them so it's about as about as good as it gets, so we can just go and pop them in, pop them in here, and see how we go. Ooh. There we go, last but not least. Okay. Do smell now because they've all been lying on top of each other and probably peeing on each other, so that's just rats for you. So let's just put them in here. do for you is just leave it like this and uh, do a bit of a time lapse and see how they how they interact with each other. Um, I'm just going to give them a water bottle as well so they've got some water should they want to drink. Um, so yeah I'll uh, report back in a little bit. stopping and do a very quick evening so it's the Saturday evening after I introduced them um, late morning today um, so I just wanted to do a quick update on the boys so as you can see here they're all quite happy um, we've got a little squidging rat playing all over together with the two ivories um, big and little so and there's been absolutely no problem at all um, just happy rats quite happily hanging out so um, what I'm going to do is just leave them in here overnight um, and then we'll probably actually upgrade them in the morning so I'll uh, see you then so it is Sunday afternoon um, and just a quick update so although everything seemed to be going really well yesterday and it's not that it's not going well this morning we have two very distinctive rat piles here so as you can see we've got the big boys in one corner and the babies in the other um, and so even though yesterday it looked really good and this is just an example of how you've just got to play it by ear and take each day as it comes and there's no one size fits all solution because something can be looking one way one day and then the next day it's a different situation so everybody's still absolutely fine it's still going well as far as intros go there's been no injuries or any aggression that I've noticed at all but they're still not really quite communicating and amalgamating as a group yet um, so we're going to leave them at this stage for another day and another night and we'll reassess it probably tomorrow morning um, and then see if we can see if we can upgrade them then just a quick update this is now Monday morning and we've got a bit better in terms of a rat pile this morning and uh, we've just got one over here but that won't be for any reason just because he was sat over there when I came in um, so yeah I'm just gonna monitor these guys throughout the day and uh, hopefully we can get them upgraded just a quick little update for you. So I'm now down in my cellar um, where I've uh, put the next size cage just because it's a quite big. Um, so just to show you the size of cage they were in before, which is above. Um, so this is a, a Mary cage that they're in now. Hey boys. And I've just put in one hammock, which I find often quite good to put one hammock in and make sure they're all sharing it. Happy to share that hammock and not causing any problems. Um, and once I'm happy that they've been in here, not having any problems with the extra space, we can hopefully get them back into their, their main cage. Um, so I'm down here in my rat cellar now, um, as I have, as you may have noticed, moved the rats out of my what was my rat room. And I will do a video on that as to why I did it and um, the pros and cons of doing that. So here are all the girls. Hi girlies. Hey girly bums. Um, 
So yeah, that was just a quick little update. That's so that's a Monday lunchtime update, and I'll uh, let you know and give you an update when we next do uh, do something else. Hi, I completely forgot to film the last stage. So um, I had the boys in here just overnight with the one hammock and then slightly bigger cage. Absolutely no problem at all. Um, and so I guess this is slightly controversial because what I did next was I um, cleaned out their old cage, give everything a good wash down, fresh new hammock, everything cleaned, um, but still left it with everything in there. So with all the ropes um, and the perches, I gave it a wipe down, but it's not all completely brand new in there either. Um, and then they were all getting on super well. So I popped them back in their cage. So um, I'll keep their eye on this and if they're misbehaving or I see any behaviour that I'm worried about then I will move them back. Um, they're a bit fluffed up, I think it's just because it's cold. Um, I'm going to have to go and, I'm gonna go and put loads more extra bedding in here for them, lots of straw um, and tissue paper just to keep them cosy um, now that they're in the cellar. So, uh, so yeah, that's the last little bit. I'll. Uh, keep you updated in a day or two and see um see how that goes so i thought i'd just do a last little update so um this is now sunday the 14th so it's uh valentine's day um and so the boys have been we did the intros just over a week ago we did the intros last saturday um and as you can see here this is one of the babies in the cage um and they're the big boys and they're always every time i've come to see them they've always been all together in the hammock, happy as, happy as can be, can't we? So I would say that's one, one successful intro. So, um, so I hope you enjoyed that video. I hope it was insightful for you. And um, when it comes to introductions, unfortunately, it is a topic where. Once you've done a few, you get a bit of a knack for it. And my main advice for everybody would be to trust your own instinct and trust your gut on it. Sometimes you can tell straight away if it's an introduction that's going to work or not. Some of them do take a bit of perseverance and some of them go really well straight away. So um, don't worry, ask questions on Facebook groups if you have got questions about an intro um, and just know that not to no two intros are ever the same ever i will continue to film more introductions as and when they come around i will probably not have any more litters for a little while so they may not be any for a few months however i will continue to to do this so i hope by sharing some of my journeys with you it will help you on your own i really appreciate if you did enjoy this video that you liked it shared it and subscribed it with other people so that it helps me grow my channel and uh, can bring you more content